I want to show you Microsoft Web Matrix in this video, and I really debated on whether or not to include this in the course, but I decided to go ahead and go for it. For one simple reason, there's a lot of people who don't want to spend the money on VisualStudio.net, or they're just trying to get into this, and they don't want to invest a lot, or they just don't like the idea of, of, you know, of having to, to outlay that much money. And if you don't want to go the notepad uh, route, where there's absolutely no help and uh, not a lot of formation, uh, assistance with your web page. Microsoft has a product that's being developed and it's called Web Matrix. And so I'm just going to tell you about it here. And uh, as for now, it's a free product. You can get it from Microsoft's website. This is really kind of very Visual Studio.net light. It does not have all the functionality of Visual Studio, but it's somewhere between Notepad and Visual Studio. It's individual page based. Now in Visual Studio, I do a project and I can put multiple pages in there. Using Web Matrix, it just simply helps me do a single page at a time. It utilizes inline code. Uh, it does not automatically give me the code behind pages that we're going to look at later. And that's probably the biggest drawback to Web Matrix. There's no documentation with it. Uh, there's no help files with it. Uh, you're not connected to .NET Framework documentation and so forth, but you should have that with your Framework SDK. There's no command completion of what we all know as IntelliSense. You don't get all the drop downs telling you uh, the different possible methods and, and properties and so forth. But it is free, and you can get this thing from www.asp.net web matrix as of the time this video was produced. Now. So you're sitting there thinking, okay, well, it's free. It doesn't do everything Visual Studio uh, has. Uh, what good is it? Some people absolutely love this thing. And I've put a couple of screenshots in here. When you're in the uh, WYSIWYG view on this, this is kind of what the page looks like. This is what it looks like in HTML view. And as you can see, it's going to help you. For example, it's going to help you write your HTML and keep it organized. It exposes uh, your buttons, your web controls, custom controls, and snippets, and so forth. Snippets is a great way when you get some code and some functionality that does something really cool that you like, you can use this to save them. And it gives you, uh, in design mode, uh, the WYSIWYG, and I'll go back to that, it gives you the ability to lay these things out visually as opposed to just kind of hacking them out in code. Give this thing a try. Go out there and download it. Uh, give it a whirl. See if you like it uh, before you invest in Visual Studio. But again, I'll tell you, Visual Studio is kind of the Cadillac way to go with this. But just be aware Web Matrix is out there. Now, if at the time you buy this video and begin to use it, if Web Matrix is not out there, all I can do is apologize. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I think it's going to be around for a while. And I'll even go as far as to tell you that at the time of this video production, there is a Rocks book that's headed to the market that explains uh, it's a tutorial on how to use Web Matrix and how to exploit this thing for all you can get out of it. And Microsoft's offering that as a free download in PDF format, in Acrobat format. So if you uh, get this video, go check that out. And if it's out there, grab those things. It's uh, in incredibly useful. So with that, uh, I'll leave it with you. Go take a look at Web Matrix. It might save you a few bucks and give you a kickstart uh, all at the same time.